I want to share a very special story with you. When Ustad Adnan told me this story, my mind blew. You know the emoji where the mind blows? That is exactly how I felt. I had to travel from Malawi to South Africa and the flights from Malawi to South Africa were very, very expensive. So I decided that I will drive from Malawi to Mozambique to this city called Tate. Sheikh Dinar is a Malawian Sheikh who decided that he will take me, he volunteered that he will take me to Tate. We embarked on the journey. We were crossing the border. We got our visa from Mozambique, Alhamdulillah. and. Uh, at the border, we found a lady standing, uh, you know, waiting for a vehicle to take her to the same city, Tate. Sheikh Dinar, who was with me, he knew this lady from Blantyre. And he said salam to her or he said hi to her. And she was a non-Muslim Christian lady. And she said, I'm going to Tate. Sheikh Dinar said, why don't you join us? This sister was picked up on the road. She was picked up on the road whilst driving. Uh, so she sat in the back of the vehicle while myself and Sheikh Dinar were sitting on the front seats. Sheikh Dinar was driving and I was the passenger on the front seat. So while we were on this journey, the journey was about two to three hours. I don't remember exactly. Uh, we decided that we want to give dawah to this lady. While we are in the car, she is with us and we are giving her a lift to Tate. Uh, we might as well talk to her about Islam and we started talking to her about Islam. And for nearly two to three hours, we were speaking with her. We were giving her, giving her reasons as to why Islam is the truth, why Islam is the best way of life one can follow, why Islam is basically the, the faith that was revealed by God in the Quran and was sent by Allah through different prophets. And they were trying to give down to her, trying to give down to her. And continuously, repeatedly, her response would be, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm, she's just listening, she's just listening. This is how she would respond. At times, myself and Sheikh Dinar would look at each other and think, why is this lady not talking to us? Why is she not responding? Why is she not asking questions? Why is she not showing any interest? Maybe we are wasting our breath. Maybe we wasted our time. On the way, we stopped and we prayed in a masjid. She was watching us. And then we had some leaflets. We distributed those leaflets in Mozambique. Even though the language of the leaflets was English and in Mozambique people don't speak English, they speak Portuguese. But we thought we'll just give these leaflets out anyway in case someone knows the English language. And the lady basically thanked us for the, for the lift and we gave her some leaflets and we told her, take these leaflets and read them in your time. Uh, she was happy she had the message, she took the leaflet, she took the materials, but she did not accept Islam. So I looked at Sheikh Dinar and I said, Sheikh Dinar, maybe we wasted our time. This lady was uh, maybe very stubborn and she didn't want to listen and perhaps we should, have, uh, we should have been quiet. And Sheikh Dinar said to me, leave it to Allah. It is up to us to give dawah and it is up to Allah to guide people. So we forgot about the lady. Sometime later, Maybe in, uh, in a year or two, I went back to Malawi for another dawah project. And we were in a restaurant. Again, myself and Sheikh Dinar were sitting there. And we saw a woman walk into the restaurant in hijab. She was wearing hijab. So Sheikh Dinar said, do you see this woman? I said, I do see her. Who is she? He said, this is the lady whom we gave dawah to in that car. And now she is a Muslimah. She's wearing hijab. And not only that, she's selling halal chicken to restaurants. She's doing a halal business. So I was so pleasantly surprised and I got so emotional seeing that. I wanted to speak to the sister. Sheikh Dinar basically invited her and she came to our table and I had a chat with her and I was so inspired looking at her and she looked so happy being a Muslim. I wanted to share this story with you, brothers and sisters, for a reason. I want you to understand that Never say die in da'wah. Never give up. Don't ever think that your da'wah will go to waste. You don't know. You can plant the seeds and Allah can bear fruit from those seeds. That seed may bear fruit in a year, in two years or possibly in ten years. But you don't know how Allah is going to bring fruit from that 
seed. So long as we are sincere in our da'wah, Allah will always bring about results from that. So just wanted to share this story to inspire you that I did not think that this woman will accept Islam because she was very hard against our da'wah. She didn't respond positive, positively or negatively, but eventually she ended up becoming a Muslim. Just wanted to share that story with you.